If you're a brand new painter out there, you're probably wondering if you could just use basic acrylic to prep your canvas or do you have to pay up for gesso? Well, in this video right here, I'm gonna show you, yeah, the reason why you can use acrylic, but also the reason you may wanna use gesso to prep your canvas. That's right, we're pitting acrylic versus gesso in this head-to-head -head battle to see which one's gonna be best. Let's go. Hey, welcome back all you beautiful and creative people. Wild here, if this is your first time here and you need a little help with your painting adventures or perhaps just inspiration, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tick that bell so you know when my videos go live for you. Perhaps the most common question I get asked on this YouTube channel or when I paint live on Twitch is, can you just use acrylic instead of gesso for when you have to prep your canvas? And you know, that's a very good question, which is why I'm gonna answer it right here. Yeah, you can use acrylic based paint if you need to prep your canvas. However, before you stop watching the video, there's a lot of pluses and minuses from acrylic to gesso. Now, if you need a video on what gesso essentially is, I've done a video about that that goes really in depth and how it can really benefit you as a painter. I'm gonna put it in the top right corner here. I recommend pausing this video, watch that, then come back and continue here. What we're gonna do in this video is tell you basically what are the differences between acrylic and gesso and how they can help you going forward. Now, if you watch that video that I told you to, Gesso and acrylic are basically the same thing. In fact, they're pretty much made the same way. However, gesso has an additive in it called gypsum or something that'll mimic gypsum, which essentially gives you that fine sand grit texture that goes on top of your canvas for when you paint. So that way your paint will grab onto something and flow nicely across the canvas. Now, when you use acrylic, it essentially is a smooth texture. It's essentially like a whiteboard if you put your fingertips across it. Whereas gesso is more or less like a chalkboard where you'll have a little bit of grit to it. So that's an easy visual way for you to think about it. Now, when it comes to acrylic versus gesso for prepping your canvas, there are some pluses and minuses. When it comes to acrylic paint, it is very, very cheap, which is probably the best positive going for you. So if you're on a budget and you need to practice or you're just starting off, I would recommend just going with acrylic based paint. Now there is a negative when you go with acrylic based paint, but there's a way around it. Most acrylic based paints will have a gloss or semi gloss finish. I'll try to show you here on a picture or in a video of how you can see the reflection versus the matte finish of a gesso paint. But when you have a gloss or semi-gloss finish to your acrylic paint, it can actually be harder for your paint to stick and layer and blend and stroke in as you're painting with oils on top of acrylic. So my advice to you as you're buying cheap acrylic paint, make sure you get something that has a matte-like finish because that's gonna help you out. Another difference between gesso and acrylic paint is even though acrylic dries really, really fast, in my experience, gesso dries even faster, which is nice if you're limited on time that you've dedicated for your painting adventures. Now, if you plan on using acrylic paint to prep your canvas, like I said before, acrylic paint, really, really cheap. But what about cheap acrylic paint versus more expensive acrylic paint? You know, don't use the expensive acrylic paint. It's a complete waste of money. Basic acrylic paint will be fine for prepping your canvas. Just make sure you don't get something that's heavy body, which is another video by the way. Just get something basic for starting out and you'll be perfectly fine. So you're probably wondering why even buy gesso when acrylic paint does the same thing and is cheaper? I mean, is it really worth getting gesso? Yeah, it actually is. For only a few bucks more, you get something that's actually, I believe, a better product overall that has multiple uses. Now, the easiest one is the fact that it has that added sand grit light texture in there. And it's hard to really explain without you comparing next to each other and feeling and brushing upon it with your paint to see how much more fluid everything comes off. And you're probably wondering, well, if I'm a wet on wet painter, I put magic white or liquid white on top and then put layers and layers and layers on top of that. You know, gesso still really helps because it creates a nice even flow and a good foundation for your paints to stick on top of. So I still really find a benefit in using gesso, especially if it's only a few bucks more. Additional benefits or notes about gesso is 
Gesso generally has more binder material in it, which is perfect for prepping your canvas because it's gonna prevent things like your liquid white, liquid clear, or even colors from absorbing into the canvas material, which means you can get more flow and spread out of your colors. Super awesome. Gesso is also perfect if you like to paint on a mixture of different materials out there. Wood, MDF, glass, cotton, linen. Gesso is perfect for those because you can have as much texture or as much smoothness as you want. Essentially, you put your gesso down, smooth it out with some sandpaper, put more gesso, repeat, repeat, repeat. You can get it as much texture or as much smoothness as you want for all the different painting materials out there. Gesso also comes in two styles, normal and heavy body. Heavy body is generally used for things like impasto styles or adding texture to your painting surface. Really cool, we'll do a video on that at some point. Now when you look for normal gesso, it's not labeled as normal gesso. However, heavy body gesso is labeled as heavy body. So if you're doing like wet on wet or any oil paintings where you're just doing normal things like still life or landscape, please just go with the normal style because that's what you want. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've said gesso more in this one video than I have in my entire life, but hey, it's worth it. So let's break it down. When it comes to acrylic versus gesso, you know, using acrylic is perfectly fine. Just stay away from the gloss or semi-gloss finish. However, if you can't afford it, I do recommend paying up for gesso. I think it's a lot better, and actually, I think it's a lot easier for any new painter out there. Now, depending on which one you go with, you're gonna be happy. And if you need to buy any, I'm gonna tell you what, I put links in the descriptions down below of ones that I've personally used that I know you'll like. And by the way, those links help support my channel, so thank you very much. I greatly appreciate it. Another awesome video in the can. I know talking about gesso versus acrylic isn't exciting, but hey, these things are gonna make you a better painter and can possibly even save you some money, which is always a win-win in my book. Now, if you're still struggling with painting or you want some more awesome tips and good hair from me, gonna do a favor, I'm gonna put a video over here to the side that gives you some awesome tips that's gonna make you a better painter on your creative adventures. Until next time, my name is Wild. Make sure you stay safe and stay creative, all you beautiful people. And of course, peace.